Hey everybody, it's your boy JB Proactive. Like I said, um, right now what I'm about to show y'all is a tool that Amazon has. And also, uh, shout out to uh, Wish.com because y'all do have some awesome things that y'all sell online to the consumers and the customers. So, my thing is Wish, to y'all, I have a business proposal. So, On Amazon, you see where they have the item, but then they also have, let's see if I can scroll down, tells you about the description about the item and everything, what's compatible with, let's see. Where you can upload your video. Y'all have that on there. And the picture thing. Um, this is what y'all don't have, Wish. I don't... I don't understand why y'all don't have this. This will help out so much. Customers' questions. Be the first to ask the question. So, my thing is, why y'all have a, 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 a customer question uh, box? That would help out tremendously. Like, seriously, it would. Um, especially if, like, the customers have questions about the uh, product, they could sell more to the, to the consumer, which are the customers. So on Wish, I'm going to pick, uh, I like these masks. I'm going to pick on here where it says overall review. It gives you... The customer's reviews, which is awesome. I like that. What they say about it, the star and the rating, that's awesome. But y'all don't have the customer question toolbar like y'all like they do on Amazon. So that will be a very useful tool. So See, it has delivery guaranteed, refund, um, reference, price by seller, description, item description. It has everything on there except for the customer question button. I couldn't, I couldn't spell customer all the way on there, but... You know, this is a business proposal because if you have that, people people would sell more of their product on Wish.com and it would drive more traffic to it instantly. Like, probably 50% plus. So, so for example, I'm going to go back. I'm basically right now on this product because I don't know. My question is for this product right here. I don't know if the the USB C port is 0 0.8 millimeters because I'm looking for one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post a question. I'm gonna post a question. There are some questions that are similar to it, but mine's is Pacific. So it says, how many millimeters is the port on the USB type C? I'm going to post it. It says, your questions may be answered by sellers, manufacturers, or customers who purchase this item, who are all part of the Amazon community. Y'all should be going by the same thing like Amazon when people post questions. That would help out like tremendously. Post your own question about the product. And then, like they said, people who are sellers, people who are manufacturers, or customers can answer people questions that they have about the product. That would drive so much more traffic to the product. So I'm going to post it.
All right. So when I posted it, it's going to say it's going to be answered either by the manufacturer or the seller or a customer. And this is the question that I post. How many millimeters is the port on the USB type side that you insert on your phone? I know the headphone port is 3.5 milliliters. So what happened was, I think this is the people that sell it. And it says, hi, the, US, the port on the USB type C is six centimeters. Bam. That can insert into the phone. Thanks. That helped me so much more because why? I didn't buy a product that didn't meet my needs because I'm looking for a USB port that's an adapter who is 0 0.8 millimeters. And this is six. So it wouldn't do me no justice or no good to buy it because it's six centimeters. Bam. So right there, I just saved myself money. I just saved myself time for buying a product that I didn't want. And that's what happens on Wish. People buy items off of Wish hoping and thinking that it's going to be a product that they like. And then when they find out, they're upset. And that's why it causes so many refunds. Because y'all don't have that, that, that tool, that bar, where you can post questions to the seller, the manufacturer, or customers that, that can answer the questions. And it sends it directly to the email. It will cut down on the refunds tremendously, wish.com. Tremendously. And like I said, I I did all the research. I didn't I didn't done all the tactics, you know, to help wish.com grow. Cause I want y'all to be a better online seller for stores and people so y'all can sell more and, and drive more traffic. I want that. So like I said, it's your boy JB Proactive. It's just a suggestion for y'all to have. The toolbar, that's all I was saying, for the people so they can answer questions and send it back to their email. But uh, like I said, I hope this helps y'all. I hope y'all add it to one of y'all updates. Um, it's your boy JB Proactive. Stay tuned for more business tips and business goals, making companies grow and prosper. I'm out. Deuces. Stay blessed.